What's going on, everybody? Happy Wednesday. I know we were supposed to do the Gridiron Contest video today, but it accidentally went out yesterday because when I was scheduled stuff, I double scheduled the same day. So if you missed that video, go back to the other videos. And it's on there. There is actually now a forum on the Discord, too, so you guys can talk, talk, and smack on there with each other and stuff like that each week. Uh, let's see here. So... I think that was everything I had besides the topic today. Uh, sorry, guys, I had to redo this like three times because my computer started glitching real quick. But all right, on the topic today. So a lot of people have been talking about two cards in particular that were on eBay. They both sold. Um, one, both of them were certified true autographs by Beckett and PSA slabbed them both. I'll give you my thoughts and opinions on to it, and I welcome everybody else. Uh, go ahead and put your thoughts, comments into the uh, comments section on the video, because I like to look through and see. Again, this is all just my thoughts on to it, my opinion on to this. Um, what may seem right or wrong may be different than everybody else's minds out there. So just keep that, you know, in the back of your head there. All right, let's pull these up. All right, first card here. Nice looking patch onto it right there. Ooh, look at that nice patchwork. National Anthems Midnight. Kind of reminds you of NT in a way, right? Got Justin Jefferson 101 patch over here. Well, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get to it. It does say the card. Well, it doesn't say the brand of the card. It says Justin Jefferson Autograph Authentic, right? There we go. On the back back here. Beckett witnessed autograph. The enclosed patch is a trademark of the Minnesota Vikings. It is not from any specific game or event. And then if you really hard to see, but below that it says not a something licensed product. Not an officially licensed product. Sorry, it's real hard for me to even see blown up on my other screen. I think the other one shows it better. So this is number one. We'll go up here to number two. Give me a second. This is the second one. NFL Shield. Looks like a flawless card almost, right? Justin Jefferson. 101 again. NFL Shield. Same thing up here. Well, you guys can't. There it is. Then a autograph. Back of it. Right there. Beckett has it on it. You can see a little bit better. They're not an officially uh, licensed product. Got the NFL shield there. Got the Minnesota Vikings on to it. Image with the Vikings jersey and helmet. Lots of stuff here. So let's dissect this a little bit here. So taking this into consideration, I believe down here, it's a custom card Justin Jefferson autograph. So somebody customly made this. With that being said, a lot of talk onto this. Is it illegal? Well, there's a lot of trademark stuff onto it, such as the Viking stuff onto the card. Then you go into the back, and you got that Vikings logo, the NFL shield. And I'm sure there's a bunch more, but I'm not strictly a lawyer on this. I'm just showing some of the stuff I know is trademark infringement, which could come back to whoever made these cards to actually really get hit onto it. The next question is, why did Beckett, you know, put a sticker on this? It's a, you know, unlicensed card. Well, when you think about this, if I took, a, I, I, this is a good example. I have pictures of me and Mario Lemieux. He's in his Penguins jersey and everything like that. Had him professionally done. Then end up getting him autographed. Uh, probably about six months, year later, by Mario Lemieux and signing. It's not an officially licensed photograph, but I still had an autograph because I took the picture, stuff like that there. With that being said, you know, um, they were still certified and everything across the board. A little bit different, I know, than this here. This here goes a little bit different realm because now we have a lot of trademark, you know, issues and an unlicensed product, etc., etc. I've never heard of this reclaimed cards at all and stuff like that. So first time I ever heard of this. I can understand Beckett putting their, you know, thing on. It's just somebody who wanted something autographed. They put the little sticker thing onto it, certified that Justin Jefferson signed, whatever it is. I mean people get some weird stuff signed. I'm not gonna lie. 
when I go to shows and I see an autograph guys, I mean, other than like, you know, uh, their sport ball, you know, baseball, football, hockey, puck, basketball, jersey, helmets, gloves, shoes. I mean, this is no joke. I, I've seen somebody once sell and they use jock strap of uh, Yvonne Rodriguez, I believe it was. Kind of disgusting, huh? Still had powder in it, too. Weird stuff like that there. I mean, I'm sure Pudge would autograph it. Probably thought you had something wrong with you, but he did it. Anyhow, let's go through this here. Back to the card. So a lot of people, you know, are a little bit upset with Beckett, but you got to understand, Beckett's just saying that's his autograph onto this, okay? Now, with PSA, because, you know, we've had a lot of cards that have been run through um, that aren't licensed, I'm taking it that the only reason why this is encapsulated, because most of their autographs, like, you select where it falls into the size frame and stuff like that, and the person was just getting the autograph authenticated, not the card. So, do I think PSA should not have authenticated it because it's on a, uh, a non-licensed card? <sighs> Gray area, big time onto it. You know, everybody's going to have mixed opinions onto it. But PSA just authenticated the auto. They didn't authenticate the card, the patchwork, none of that stuff onto it. It stayed within their parameters. And, you know, I, I was asking questions a while back when I was doing, you know, a few things here and there. And I got, this is probably about five years ago that I got my autographs authenticated with and stuff. You know, and I'll never forget the lady was sitting on the phone with me. And she was telling me that they get some weird requests for things being autographed. She goes, we just authenticate that the autograph is real. That's it. So I think that's what plays into here. Now, if they were trying to get the card graded, they're not going to because they only grade officially licensed cards. So hopefully that kind of, you know, makes sense. It, it took me a while to process, you know, a lot of that and then apply it to this here. They're not the only way that, like with Wildcard, for example, originally they were not grading Wildcards. They didn't recognize them as fully licensed and all that. Well, they're not grading this card. They're just authenticating the auto. That's it. Do I think there's a lot of, you know, extras on this? That the cards look like NT, look like flawless? Yes, they look like that's going to be something for Panini to fight their battle with and stuff along with the NFL and probably the Minnesota Vikings, because there's some trademark stuff onto it. Unless somehow, some way, they got some special licensing, which is kind of hard nowadays, especially with under the sports card realm. But I'm sure somebody's going to look into that piece of it, and that'll be fought down the road. But I do not fault either Beckett for putting a sticker on this, saying the autograph's authentic, because that's what they're getting paid for, the autograph being authentic. Same with PSA. They didn't grade the card, so it's not an authenticated card. It's just they said, hey, whatever you put in front of us, this guy signed. I mean, people have, like, napkins and stuff from restaurants signed by, you know, famous people all the time, and they're encased into weird stuff. So this here I know does draw more of a gray area, like it's really messed up. It's a, you know, it's an unlicensed sports card. But again, they have to look into their rules, and I guess that's probably where the wiggle room or the gray area, whatever you want to call it, lies. That they're not authenticating the card at all. They are grading it. They're just authenticating the auto onto it. So I'm sure eventually they'll probably look at probably changing their rules. I know this is probably going to get blown up even more on social media and everything. As you can see, this ended like two, well, over two weeks ago now. I think they both did, actually. Nope, one on the 14th, one on the 8th. So as you can see, I mean, one sold for $801. The other one sold for $1,551. Pretty, pretty big uh, chunks of money, you know, for an autograph of Justin Jefferson. A lot of people weren't paying much attention because they probably thought that the card was an officially licensed Panini card. And this is why I say a lot of times you've got to really do your research on this stuff. We just touched this with the through the years, the autographs, and all that. Whenever I see stuff like this pop up, and a lot of times I put like 101s and stuff for uh, on eBay to, for my searches and save it so they email it to me, I look at stuff like this and I'll open up the link and I start looking the card over. I'm like, why did they just get this authenticated, you know? It, it made no sense. And then you're like, why does it have Beckett witnessed onto it? Then you read that small piece at the end. 
it just all starts lining up. So just be aware of stuff that you guys are buying out there. Um, you know, I'm sure a lot of different people are probably, you know, upset that Beckett authenticated the autograph, PSA authenticated the autograph, and it's all onto the what it's actually authenticated on the uh, non licensed card, but they weren't asked anything about the licensed card, so I think that's where it lies at mostly. All right, guys, I figured I'd share this today with everybody because, like I said, it's been floating around here for a little bit. It's been in the back of my mind for a while, and I've been, you know, thinking, talked to a few people about it. We pretty much all came up with the, you know, same conclusion on to it that that's the only reason why it's like that, you know, with that piece on to it. But, again, look forward to seeing everybody's comments on to this, and I will see you next video.